All right, here we go. Another weekend league. This one is by far my worst one, but we're going to start off with a big road to uh, the hero pack. Sorry, you know, there's a couple in here. So this is the base hero pack. We get Broilin. So I didn't actually use him this weekend league. Probably should have, but there's a number of things that have come up with this weekend league. So, you know, we did Giroud as well, mainly because of the, the power shot plus and for the memes in there so it is a quite fun card unfortunately he doesn't really get a look in as well he played a couple games but i wouldn't mind starting him see how he plays like he's a little bit clunky on the ball but it is very very fun for when you hit those bangers with him and he comes in and does his uh what was it the scorpion celebration that's really fun as well so we got so many packs because it is the end of the season so the old short season and obviously black friday is coming out so this season ends on thursday we are getting some very nice fodder here so we're really trying to grow the clubs because there is a schmeichel sbc and there is an 89 icon base pack coming out so here is the road to the knockout trailblazer player pack and you know the gambling ones i'm kind of hoping it is a german left back unfortunately this one was a bust so it's actually way less than what the pack cost but it is what it is you don't always get what you want in it like i really wanted harry kane or someone massive in there but we're going to do it again just because they're not too bad they're reasonably we did it with fodder so we get do there's dodo I think that's, yeah, Dodo on this one. Um, very nice on the ball, very quick. Good defending stats, just a little bit small. So this is the end of the season. We went with the 87 times two, and we get Griezmann here. So it is a French double pack. We get Griezmann and also Ren Renda. So she's massive. She's like, I think, what, six foot something. Um but just very, very slow. Doesn't get a look in. We did try Griezmann out. I also bought Marlon, my main man, Marlon. We obviously bought him for 23. He's down to 17K now. This is the team we started off with. And I've got to tell you, I was playing terribly. Like, this is the worst I've ever played. Like, this team shouldn't be as bad as I made it out to look like. So, annoyingly it's mostly my fault like i was rushing things i was just playing around with the ball and i was taking one way too many touches here ping was okay it was like 30 30 milliseconds so this is the first team absolutely massive team and it is very very annoying i've got to learn how to play with my my left backs and right backs like i have them all on stay back but like people just running it at me sweat to here and balak hits a big goal so this is the first game and again, just down those wings. Couldn't catch Salah here, annoying. I can't stand when this happens to me, but when I hit these sort of goals, I mean, they're, they're really nice. And that's where that finesse play, well, the finesse plus is real handy. Pirus here gives it over to Dembele and we start to pull the game back. So it is 2-1 now and, you know, we're doing all right. I'm still not sold on Pirus. It's just, there's something about it. Griezmann here, we tried to do the same thing. Couldn't quite get it. I'm not sure if it's because we're not doing time finished or not, but it's, I'm not, I'm not sold on Griezmann like he was okay. Little nice ball over the top. That Madison card is pretty annoying. Um, I've got it, but I haven't run it. So it is now 3-1. See like those little extra touches. We tried to play Mendy back, kicks it straight into Thiago Silva and then bang it is 4-1 really annoying probably should have quit the match but i am stubborn i do like to learn how people are playing against me just to see how we can improve son we're going to do more ball rolls that's what i noticed like ball roll before we pass and that's what i was doing but i'm not doing them anymore i don't know why i just stopped it's pretty annoying it's 5-1 and we did a couple of subs so liao comes on griezmann dribbles down and bang we out hits one to make it two five so like Griezmann I didn't I don't know I probably need to try him out a little bit more but I don't actually run a La Liga squad this Nabry card is really really nice it's the 87 so we did Evo him over to Liao again Liao hits at home so Liao's Liao's real good Marlon watch out 
see this high press is ridiculous like I'm I, the amount of times that teams are just running absolutely full presses it's so annoying and because I was just playing absolutely ridiculous and holding the ball and just being just I don't know making very very poor choices I don't know what it is normally I don't play like that and I went to clear it out it see like that sort of stuff I don't know I don't know what happens and he just bang Salah with the absolutely delicious sort of move there so it is 4-7 it's like should have should have quit Claws was pretty good see Marlon very very agile Bang Liao hits it back, it becomes a five at seven. So uh, it was it was a tough it was a tough 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 game. This team here, that Witzel card's pretty annoying. It's a pretty solid team. I do play wide a lot, obviously through the right backs. Mainly the right back. I like to play down the right hand side. Dumfries is an upgrade as well. Marlon, ooh, almost there. Edison's pretty good, Allison is real annoying, and Courtois is ridiculous. I don't understand how Courtois is so good. I think it's like the size is what, six foot six. It's just really annoying. See, like Nabry gets around. So I should have like boosted past him. I do get around. And then Marlon, absolutely magic by Marlon. Marlon's 82 was fantastic at the start of this game. See, I got lucky there, but like, see how everyone is pressing down this side I'm just holding the ball way too long it works out here but I really shouldn't have like been doing this and like five backs and three backs really annoying I can see why they're uh, banned in to uh, pro tournaments now so this is actually pulling back our first win here see like switching the side because they're all pressing on that one side I don't know if it's like I should you know conform to that sort of play and like press I don't like playing like that I like to play my own game a little bit more like control on the ball passing it around Brant's incredible Nabry hits another one it is a three nil and we just let him know on this one and uh, does he pull it back on this one I can't quite remember I think he, he does yes so it is now Oh, this one's so annoying. So I never know whether to pull my keeper out or to hold him in because this part here, so annoying, comes in, hits that that goal. And we're one in six. As I said, it's the worst weekend league that we have done. There is a defining moment that does sort of change it for us and you'll see it soon. But Claus is pretty good, just running down. Um, that batcher card, really annoying. Reina was pretty good, and Brant's passing into Marlon. Marlon, I think, ended up with like 13 goals or something in the weekend league. Like pretty good, pretty good. But there's one player that absolutely dominated it, mainly because one of the games we had an absolute blowout. But ooh, you'll see that soon. Look at Marlon. Oh, Marlon. I don't know what he was doing with his keeper there. He just pulled it out, but Marlon hits another one. Marlon, a striker, absolutely incredible. Doesn't quite have the full explosive power I want on the wing, kind of like the rapid, like Liao or Dembele. Like, see there, and I should have should have committed in there. Like, it works out all right, but I really should have really gone through and in there, but I didn't, so... That's on me, see, the, making those like the poor decision choices and there was so many times where I just ran down the line. So we did do a road to the knockout again. And this one here is uh, Mertens. We get Mertens again. So we already have Mertens. That's the second time we've packed him in one of these. Like I'm sure he's probably one of the high 87s that always comes out. Like he's, he's a fun card and he's, he's pretty good. Again, doesn't quite have the pace to explode out from anywhere. Does have the finishing and the dribbling, so that's pretty good. This game freezes so much. I don't understand how it does it. Like, it's so annoying. Like, I was stuck on that screen for ages. We put our second Mertens into a base hero pack, and this one is absolutely astonishing. This is our second 1 million coin player from a hero pack. So we got... Ramirez uh, the, from the Premier League, and now we got Di Natalio, and he's so good. Look at those stats; it's absolutely incredible. So this one here, this is the this is the game that actually blew out. I, I don't have all the, I didn't put all the footage in because it was just ridiculous. You can see it's 16 and one. 
Like, he just stopped playing because I was just absolutely banging him out. Watch this. And bang. What a banger. That's what I need to do more of. I need to actually get players with the the play uh, PlayStation Plus, or not PlayStation Plus, the PlayStyle Pluses, just so you can do those types of things because uh, they make a massive difference and, like, that's what I haven't been doing and that's probably what this team was lacking. So it, it did get a mix up and obviously Dinati came in and absolutely hit bangers. So you can see he turned it around. So we were like six and one. It blew out to, we got to six, six. We did get a few real unlucky. We went to Penn a couple of times and it became, well, it was eight and 10 there. So if we didn't lose the first like seven games, we would have been okay. This is the first Mbappe I've actually played. I don't think I've played it, played an Mbappe, Mbappe like in many. Ryson is incredible, he's the 86 version. It's annoying that I did that and then he got an, an 87. So like Marlon, so good. Look at the control. Unfortunately, we got lucky, we got lucky. That's the type of stuff that wasn't happened to me in those earlier games, like, cause I was just playing bad. Marquinhos, absolutely incredible. Marlon again, as I was saying on the wing, he actually does quite well, a little one over the top. And here he is, the man of the moment, our $1 million man, bang! And we got lucky, we got very, very lucky. King tries to jump over and get the ball. Van Dijk is so annoying. Um, I'm not sure if I, I don't want to invest like 120,000 coins in anybody. I don't know why, I should probably buy a couple more meta players, but I haven't, so here we are. I'm still playing with people with either packed or like my favourite players and Evos, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm having fun with the game and that's the main thing that I want, so Marlon, bang, Marlon is great. The Brant, Brant gets so many assists, and Diano, he's real good as well, pretty useful. See here, here comes the press. It's really annoying. And Mbappe is just ridiculous in this game. Like he's got that sort of like the X factor or what do you want to call it? You can call it the M factor, the Bappe factor. You know, he has to be a bit ridiculous in the game for being such a critical. See, that's what I'm talking about. Those like, I should have passed, but instead I just took that extra touch and here it comes. It just bang, like it's, this is the win we needed, and we did actually hold out, so it was 3-2, so we managed to get there. We oh, got rank, was it rank, uh, what was that, 6, rank 6, Roman numerals, depending on which way they are. So it's not the best, but it, it's, I say, we managed to, like, recover, which is, is, in the end of the day, we're only one rank shorter, like, normally, we really should be, like, a 14-16 sort of win I just make silly mistakes so we get all black here and we're just getting some fodder and we'll definitely be doing some SBCs that are coming up and again we get a little little Tony Cruz in there as well so nice bit of fodder that coming in like won't get a look in in the teams at all here's our 85 normally it's the 85 times 2 but we do get the Saudi League and it is the goalkeeper, Bonu. So lovely, another 85 into the club. Rare players pack. I swear these rare player packs are pretty average. I don't think I've packed like anything really, really good in that at like ever. So it is Maratta. It is a rare player, so it does live up to its, its name. So I guess you can call it that. So you like nothing in that pack. Our ultimate pack of disappointment, which is pretty standard. We get English right back. It is in Newcastle. It is Trippier, which like early in, in early in the game, it would have been nice. We're well past him ever getting a look into the team, but he does become a nice little bit of fodder. So we get an inform, which is nice because they're up to like 30,000 coins. I'm sure he will come in pretty handy in the uh, SBCs that are coming up. So that should be fine. See, there's nothing there. And we just take them, we gotta sell them. These are the Centurion score goals in 100 matches, 100 wins, and not bad. So nice little free packs, which are nice. So this is coming in and we get a Modric. So uh, pretty handy, another 87. We've got quite a lot of fodder, which is pretty it's gonna be real useful coming up so i'm looking forward to what's happening might get schmeichel i feel like he'd be a pretty good goalkeeper 
and Diaby as well. Nice little super sub. I don't know if he'll if he'll get a look for the super sub, but it's okay. So 84 times three. This is our last pack, and it is the Cobal uh, Peace Prize. It is Cobal from uh, Borussia Dortmund, my team, and he was he was pretty solid for us. Wasn't quite as good as Edison is, but Allison. Thinking of upgrading into Schmeichel or Allison, so that could be like really fun. Whether we go that route, I don't know. And obviously, the season is coming to an end, but that is all we have for this one. Next week, I need to do something. I'm going to change the team up and have a little bit more play styles in there for you. And you know what to do if you want to see me live, you can see me live on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 45 Australian Central Standard Time. And all I ask you to do is hit that big thumbs up if you liked it because it definitely helps the algorithm. And tell your friends, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.